Wow, what a gorgeous but kind of unusual blue-green hue to the water here. What the heck is going on? Well, every year in early spring, thousands of tiny forage fish known as herring migrate from way out from the Pacific Ocean back to intertidal shallows along the coastline from Alaska down through California to spawn, where females will lay up to 20,000 eggs each on different substrates like seaweed to kelp to eelgrass and even boughs of branches that hang in the water. And then the males come along and release tons of sperm into the water to fertilize them, turning the water a cool, milky white turquoise blue. So... Yeah, the water color here is basically thousands of fish all kind of blowing their load at the same time, which kind of changes the vibe, huh? But who are we to yuck their yum? You know, good on them for getting it on. After all, this event only happens once a year and can last as short as a few hours to as long as a few weeks, and it is pivotal and maintaining populations of Pacific herring. And that's kind of a big deal because these fish are a common food source for a wide range of critters, tying terrestrial and marine ecosystems together. See, at spawning events like this, seabirds, sea lions, and whales all gather to feed on the spawn, and then other birds, wolves, and bears will eat their eggs on land when the tide recedes, acting as a critical source of nutrients and a major part of their diets after a long, cold winter. They're also a staple of indigenous cultures in this part of the world who have been harvesting these eggs and catching these fish in various ways since time immemorial. But unfortunately, these herring populations are under threat not only from a lack of safe sheltered habitat to spawn in and boat and tanker traffic which disrupts their spawning, but largely due to commercial overharvesting offshore for products like fertilizers and fish oil. Herring populations crashed in the 60s and have since rebounded slightly, but they're still a fraction of their historic numbers and on a steep projected decline as unsustainable fishing continues, outlining the importance of regulating the industry to protect these fish and incredible events like this for all who depend on them.